Hey guys, um, today I'm kind of confused as you'll see why with the title of this video actually. Um, here in a few minutes, I'm going to show you a couple of clips on the matters of something I've discovered and thought of while playing a couple of rounds. At the beginning of this clip, the first one that I play, they're both from the same game, but the first one I play, I die in respawn and I'm using the stem shots which only give you two per life. But that's not the problem. The problem comes when I don't take any damage and I'm still able to use them. Stem shots are not new. They have been in the Call of Duty game since Black Ops 4, I believe. Even though it was a mandated thing in that game, but at least if you were full on health and you accidentally pressed the button to heal, you know, you didn't use it. This isn't something new in the games at all. And if this is one of the new things that they've changed, then why on earth make it to where you can use it while fully healed? And I get that this might not be a big issue. Uh, this may just affect a minority, a uh, few people who play on keyboard and mouse. But after last year's game, I'm going to critique every little thing that I can find in this game that I find to be complete and absolutely fucking stupid. So the clip that I'm talking about right now is about to play here in a few seconds. And you'll see that I die and I respawn and while coming up this little hill to check to see if there was any enemies around, my finger slips and hits the button for my tactical items, which is for my stem shots. You may be saying that, well, the, the majority of players, excuse me, won't do that. The thing is, is I play on PC and I've been in lobbies where there have been quite a few mouse and keyboard users and I have some macros on my mouse that let me use items without taking my fingers off my movement keys which are the WASD keys so I can quickly escape and use my items if necessary such if I need to run away and use a stim shot. One of those buttons are right next to my firing button which is the left mouse click button and while I don't hit it every time, when things can get hectic, I might accidentally hit it. I'm trying to run away, right? But the thing is, I shouldn't have to fucking change my keys for something that has been in the damn games for three years. I'm sorry for shouting, but I'm tired of a company that can't stick to something or make awareness of something in a game that... They have made consecutively for years. And while we may be in a pandemic, and I get that coding games is hard, they literally just copy and paste the code from one game to the next. The loading screens, and hell, even the weaponsmith screen, uh, almost look identical. The, the loading screen have the people walking in front of it, and I'm pretty sure that came from Modern Warfare. Now, while there may be some minor adjustments and additions here and there, they're just to make it look like it's a brand new game, they literally just copied and pasted the code from the last game to the next. Look, I'm not here to make fun of anybody or say that, you know, I can do a better job than anyone else as making a game, but I stated almost a year ago on a live stream, when you put your work out there, it becomes a work of art, and everyone is allowed to form an opinion on that piece of art. Not everyone is going to hate it, but you can bet your ass <laughs> not everyone is going to like it either. Why change something that isn't broken? You know, the saying goes, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Because, <laughs> I mean, fixing it, it's going to break it in the end. Yeah, I don't know what was going on in the heads over at Sledgehammer Games. Maybe they didn't, you know, think that's the main thing. Maybe they just didn't think. But, you know, I can bet that, you know, their heads were somewhere off in goddamn no man's land wondering about, you know, what should I do when I get off work? I mean, there's been numerous reports. And, you know, there there was a live stream where a dev from Modern Warfare raged quit his own game. You know, Modern Warfare 2019, they rage quit their own game because Piccadilly came up. You know these devs don't play their own game. They don't care. And it shows. You know, another thing I'm stumped by 
is when you call a care package in this clip, this is from the same game, by the way, I call in my care package right there and it goes like flying 15 feet from behind me. You know, if you guys remember, I threw it up there on that little right there where this little smoke is. Why did it go flying past my head and almost off the fucking map? You know, imagine being in a tight pinched area and you call in your care package and it goes flying over your head and lands closer to your enemy. All they have to do is kill you and then boom, they get a free score streak. While I know many people call in their you know, care packages after they die, like I normally do, but... There are some people who are on a streak and they don't want to lose that streak and they call in their care package because it's the one streak they have. See, here's why I'm picking on all of these things. These are things that have been in the game ever since I can remember. The stim shot's more newer than the care package, but the care package has been in the Call of Duty series for almost ever. And how do they mess up? landing on this one game the landing of the care package on this one game now this isn't a one-time thing this is a multiple time thing i call in a care package i believe down later on in this gameplay and luckily you know i'm showing it doesn't happen every time but i've had it happen more times than it should have and it's enough to bitch about it so i mean in, in the past games, they would land right in front of you, or maybe a few feet away from you. I mean, I get they're trying to make it look like a World War II game, but, yeah, come on, in Call of Duty World War II, their care package would still land next to you, if not maybe a few feet from where you called in the package. Not 15 to 20 fucking feet away from where you placed the marker. These developers need to really sit and think and actually communicate with the players about what they want to see in their games and take the time to really think, hey, how did we do this last year? You know, did people like this little aspect of this last game? You know, <laughs> keep those things. Just keep those things. Don't mess with them. Because when you mess with them, they break it. Again, if, you, if it ain't broke, don't fucking fix it. And it looks like they're trying to adjust every minor thing from, you know, last year's game. Now, don't get me wrong, this game has some positive points, and I'll touch on to it, but I'm really pissed off about this. I mean, it's like these devs are running on fumes. Because it seems like every year, every time a year goes by, and I speed up this little part right here, just because I call in the care package, and I get a guard dog. And every time I hit F, it wouldn't move. Maybe the dog just doesn't listen. Maybe I'm just using it wrong. I don't know. But I speed up this little part here because all I do is get this care package. Uh, and uh, really nothing else happens. I collect this. I, I deny this kill and, you know, game's over. But, you know, it's like these devs are running on fumes. Activision. Maybe take a year off and just focus on the games you have right now. And add on to them. Don't make another one. But, you know, I'm out of time here, guys. I hope you guys like, you know, the video. Um, I have some positive stuff to say about the game. I really do. And, you know, I can have a fun time playing this. I just have to come at it without some, you know, competitive mindset. Uh, the final score is 19 eliminations and 13 confirms. But be sure to stay tuned because, you know, there's a lot more videos I'm going to be putting out in the near future. Also subscribe to the channel and let's see, share it around because I really want to get to 100 subscribers by the end of the year. Um, but yeah, I have a lot more to say on the topic of Call of Duty Vanguard. There are, like I said, there are some positives. There are. Um, right now, there's just some negatives that I'm going to be pointing out. And again, I know this is pretty new of a game. Maybe they'll fix it in an update later, but I don't know, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Peace.